Uh, I think for me, um, you know, we learn from mistakes. Um, but one thing that I have come to learn is the concept of being coachable. You know, you make a mistake and you are coachable. You are open to um, criticism and you are open to learning. And um, so if that is something that I've, you know, I'm incorporating right now in my life, that when somebody criticize me, criticizes me, it's not like they're looking down upon me. Um, you know, they want the best out of me. Um, and the concept also of being um, a hundred percent cause that you take responsibility a hundred percent. Um, so it's not, you know, you do your 50% share, I do my 50%. No, it's being responsible a whole hundred percent, you know. And so, you know, looking, start, you know, having um, or looking at life from that kind of, of a perspective, um, it really opens doors um, of opportunities because people are also willing to share their knowledge, you know. Um, so I have... I have learned from my mistakes too, and um, having my mother as a professor, oh, <laughs> yeah, lots of mistakes. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, you know, it has made me a better person. You know, it has um, refined me, and um, I think, and, and especially if people are really passionate about what you're doing, they want the best from you know out of you. My professors. Um, they really push me because they, they know my passion and um, even after you know receiving the, the civic award um, you know that n kind of raised a bar for me now you know I cannot just be any regular students and especially for uh, my professors who know me and know the work I'm doing so they have raised a bar for me so um, whatever I'm doing you know they have a critical eye for me so it's I look at it as, as a positive thing in my life <clears throat> I'm going to make a comment about, you know, even how we perceive the whole concept of, of making mistakes. Um, <clears throat> as human beings, sometimes we tend to see life as, you know, living your life as being wrong or right, you know. And, and sometimes that in itself um, creates a situation where you live a life fearing to make mistakes because, you know, mistakes means failure. Now, I'm coming from a perspective where I believe that life is just whole and complete. And that even if we don't necessarily achieve where we, you know, what we want to achieve, or we don't uh, hit the, the, the target that we want to uh, hit, it's not a failure. It's just the fact that we have not reached that goal. And I think you know, approaching life from that perspective, therefore, creates a situation where you don't see yourself as a failure because you, you, know, you failed, you know, but, but the fact that you 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 failed you know you did not actually meet the, the expectations but you have the opportunity to do that but when you see yourself as a failure then that kind of brings you down um so uh, it, right now i you know my approach is really that you know we can't get we can't even bring about change if we begin to see people as doing wrong or being wrong or looking at someone and saying you are wrong I, I think we have to change that so that we can create more opportunities and space for development and space for bringing about change. Um, again, something also that I, I am very uh, passionate about right now is just being who you are, you know, being who you are uh, as a human being. And, and when we operate in the context of integrity, that uh, whatever you are doing, you are not doing it with other motives. You are, you are focusing on just bringing about change in the world. Then it's not about you anymore. It's not about you as a human being. It's about what you can bring about and what can bring about change. And for me, when I come from that perspective, it's, you know, even when I feel like I have not accomplished much, I still don't necessarily bring myself down. I, you know, I'm not making myself wrong. I, and, and probably when I do that, then I create space where I can actually again go back and enroll people to, to come and, and, and be able to be part of this. So we, we have to also maybe change our perspective, especially when we, we want to define change now in a different way. Um, and, and that change is, is, is inevitable and, and we have to do that. I mean, there's no way we can still hold on to our values and still want to bring about change. There's something about our own selves and be able to uh, stand in there and, and be ourselves fully.